Welcome to Comedy Global. Science doesn't lie, Modi does. I'm Anjana and let's know who said this and why. The Bharatiya Janta Party on Friday accused former Congress President Rahul Gandhi of doing politics over COVID-19 deaths, claiming that the WHO's data as well as Congress's data are wrong. According to BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra, the World Health Organization's methodology for calculating estimated deaths related to the virus in India is flawed and imaginary. And the Indian government has conveyed these objections to the WHO. While addressing a press conference, Patra said that Rahul Gandhi has repeatedly attempted to bring down the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's image since 2014, lowering India's image in the process. The Registrar General of India has a robust mechanism for recording births and deaths, noted Patra. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi had earlier hit out at the government over a WHO report of 4.7 million excess COVID deaths, saying science does not lie, Prime Minister Narendra Modi does. Mr. Gandhi also demanded that the government should support the families that have lost loved ones by giving them the mandated 4 lakh compensation. The BJP hit back at the Congress leader alleging that the WHO's data and Congress beta are wrong. In a report released on Thursday, WHO said between January 2020 and December 2021, there were 4.7 million excess COVID deaths in India, the maximum number that's 10 times the official figures and almost a third of COVID deaths globally. The global figure, according to the report, was 15 million, which is more than double the official figure of 6 million. India has strongly refuted the WHO's use of the mathematical model to calculate the number of COVID deaths, saying the figure is totally removed from reality. India has consistently questioned WHO's own admission that data in respect of 17 Indian states was obtained from some websites and media reports and was used in the mathematical model, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare said. This reflects a statistically unsound and scientifically questionable methodology of data collection for making excess mortality projections in case of India, the statement added. Despite India's objection to the process, methodology and outcome of this modeling exercise, WHO has released the excess mortality estimates without adequately addressing India's concern, the ministry said. Top health experts have also expressed disappointment over the global health body's one-size-fits-all approach to arrive at the figure. Dr. N.K. Arora, chief of India's COVID working group, said the WHO report was worrisome. Speaking to media, Mr. Arora said that while there can be 10 to 12 person discrepancies, India's robust and accurate death registration system, known as Civil Registration System or CRS, ensures that a majority of virus-related deaths are covered. Rejecting the WHO report, Niti Aayog member V.K. Paul said, India has been telling WHO with all humility through diplomatic channels along with data and rational reasoning that it does not agree with the methodology and has been followed for the country. They have used a methodology for several nations which is based on a systematic collection of data on deaths. The Civil Registration System of India provides accurate estimates emanating from the ground, certified and validated by the district and the state administration. We want them to have used these numbers, unfortunately, despite our emphatic writing and communication at the ministerial level, they have chosen to use the numbers that are based on modeling and assumptions, Paul said. Modeling is a one-size-fits-all kind of assumption and you may apply it where the systems are poor. But to apply assumptions based on a subset of states and on reports that come from websites and media and then you come out with an exorbitant number is not tenable. We are disappointed with what WHO has done, he stated. These kinds of assumptions used for a nation of India's size to put us in poor light is not desirable, Mr. Paul added. The entire world looks at India's fight against the pandemic under PM Modi's leadership as a model and it is very sad that politics is done on death figures, said BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra. He further said that India handled the pandemic better than most developed countries. In the fight against the pandemic, India fought as one with no distinction between BJP ruled and opposition ruled states, he stated. This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global.